Hi. Welcome to the Sex Talk. I'm Mo. I'm Genoa. And, and I'm Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly is on the cover of Penthouse Forum. And she is the first plus size adult film star to be on their cover. Woo! Well done, and sister. Thank you. Way well to represent. Trying to, trying to represent for all the chubby chicks out there. For all the chicks, yeah. really. I mean, really. Yeah. Breaking down doors. Yeah. I mean, you know, the, the traditional kind of men's magazine model is a very slender, very flat stomach, very, you know, very specific kind mm -hmm, of look. Mm -hmm. and, um, and and a funny thing is, like, with a lot of men's magazines, they're actually Photoshop too. Oh, yeah. You know? They're not actually attainable in real life because they've it's been hard Photoshopped. To. It's hard to. Yeah. Um, you know, or you go to the gym seven days a week. Or that person doesn't actually look like that in real life anyway. Yeah. Or you they know? don't eat. Or they, or they, or, or they have, like, uh, a personal trainer that's with them every day mm -hmm. and a nutritionist that works with cooks them every day. Them, yeah. yeah, I don't have that. I don't yeah. have somebody that cooks five meals a day for me and makes sure that I eat. And I want that. That would be nice. Yeah. Just from just from like a pampering standpoint, right? I'm okay with that. <laughs> right it, it, right yeah. into sex talk Someone having yeah. you all day long. Yeah, I have a guy on Twitter that reminds me every day that I should have lunch. Oh. That's about the closest I got. That's really okay. sad. Yeah. Okay. I don't okay. need anyone to remind me to eat lunch. <laughs> No, I'm so, on a computer all day doing like like press releases and media oh, and marketing these time days. Time goes by. So yeah, so like the next thing I know, it's like four or five o'clock at night. Like I haven't eaten yet today. Oh, oh my okay. god! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I will be eating right after this interview. <laughs> so Kelly, mm -hmm. why don't you tell us? Why don't we start from with the basics? Yeah. Um, your full name. My name is Kelly Shabari. <laughs> and what do you do, Kelly? I am a plus size Asian porn star. By day and by, well actually I'm a Asian porn star by night and by day I'm a PR marketing person for the industry. Oh, oh nice. nice. Okay, well cool. done. And how long have you been doing this? This is my seventh year. Wow. What made you want to start getting into porn? Um, okay, so my background is in, is, has always been in entertainment, but it's always kind of been behind the scenes. So mm -hmm. I started off as a roadie for a couple of years. Shut up. Uh, did like national tours, wow. that kind of thing. And That's tough. Anyone good? And, and, um, I probably shouldn't mention it because, oh, gotcha, yeah, because, gotcha. yeah, because they'll be like, she does porn now? What? <laughs> but, um, uh, you know, as like doing set and lighting. So it was like me in like army boots and army pants yeah. and like a tank top Pro and like really, really short hair. Our special hardcore chicks. And yeah. Hot. I think. No, but like you guys work hard, and right. I and I had some pretty butchy hair. Like I, it was like a sh number four clipper on the sides, mm -hmm. and like blonde streaks on top. You wow. know, kind of like a mullet. No, <laughs> this wasn't a no. Oh, this wasn't here. It was that. just oh, oh. it was just short, it super, the, it super, just super, super butchy. Hair. Um, That's cute. Yeah, this is this is the girly face. Um, and then I transitioned when I moved to LA from New York. I became a production designer for film and commercials and infomercials and that kind of thing. And in 2007, there was a big writer's strike. Right. And like all the work dried up in town. And uh, a friend of mine who is a weapons guy, like he does all the fake prop guns mm -hmm. and teaches like, you know, Daniel Craig, how do you shoot a gun, that kind of stuff. Um, he and his girlfriend, they've been together for like almost 20 years, um, moon did some moonlighting work in the porn industry uh, as performers and as like, like directing, shooting, that kind of stuff. And so we were all hanging around and we were just talking and he said, you should do porn. And I was like, <laughs> and, and this was it, like really like the first thought in my head was, "There's no fat girls in porn." Oh, <laughs> what are you talking I love, I love about? That your first thought wasn't like, "I'd never do porn." Your no. was like, "There's no place for me." No, because I've always been super sexual and pretty open. Yeah, um, sex has always been fun for me. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, it was like, "There's no fat chicks in porn," and you're just saying it because you want to do it. <laughs> want to fuck me you so. just want to like do yeah. me so that's why you're saying that and, uh -huh. and he was like no 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 he's like this is actually serious like and he showed me a couple of websites um for some companies uh that did plus size porn and i was like wow because I, I seriously had never seen any like plus size porn up until then like all my experience was like 80s and not early 90s porn right. so it's all like mm -hmm. vivid wow. and mm -hmm. you know that kind of stuff so all the girls were like Slender and really pretty, big fake and boobs, big fake boobs, yeah. and very blonde, and blonde. like the '80s, so it's like big, like Pam Anderson, like Baywatch hair, right? right. right. So, um, so they showed me the websites, and I was like, wow, they don't. First of all, they look gorgeous, mm -hmm. and second of all, they're not like the butt of a joke. No. So sure, I'll. You know, I wasn't dating anybody at the time, so I was like, I'll send my pictures in, and if they take me, then I'll. I guess I'll do it. What the hell? Yeah. Right. And, and more recently, you became the flashlight girl. 
that right? was a couple so of years ago. Tell yeah. Us about that. Um, so Fleshlight was nice enough to say, "Hey, we'd like to try different niches." Like a couple of years ago, they were going through this phase where they were trying alt girls and BBW, or they were thinking about BBW. Tell them They're what BBW is. Big beautiful woman, which is like the the acronym for a plus size chick. Mm -hmm. uh, BHM is the male equivalent, which is big handsome man. Oh, oh I yeah. never heard that. Okay. That's cool. Yeah. So. Uh, so Fleshlight hit me up um, right after ABN a couple of years ago and said, hey, we're thinking about trying a BBW Fleshlight. Would you like to be our Fleshlight girl? And I was like, why would I say no? Mm -hmm. <laughs> of course I would. So got shipped out to their offices, got put my legs up in the air, got molded. Wow. Yeah. And it's kind of funny because everybody's like, oh, it's a vagina mold. And I was like, no, it's not. It's a vulva. Yeah. You know, it's yeah. just it's just the outside. They There's didn't put any goo in me, yeah, you yeah, know. Yeah. Um, and like the inside is like the inside of a fleshlight is like all weird and twirly and have nubs and things like that. Mm -hmm. And mine doesn't. So I didn't, <laughs> I, oddly enough, I didn't know what the inside of a fleshlight looked like. Right. And mm -hmm. I actually that's thought cool. that's what it was going to be that they, they like molded your entire. Oh, oh yeah. When they gosh. say a vagina mold, I'm kind of like, oh, right. <laughs> no, but it's just, it's just the just outside. The, just the labia. Yeah. Okay. Just labia and my big clit and like <laughs> all that. Nice. Um, and uh, they put that out there and it was, and then they, I, I think it was just more of a corporate thing. They made it limited edition. Um, so it was around for like three or four months and then they pulled it off the shelves. And I still, like even now, especially with the penthouse forum coming out, I have lots of people asking me, they're like, hey, where's your fleshlight? I've been looking for it online, I can't find it. And I was like, sorry, not available. Yeah. However, use that as a learning tool. <laughs> this is only available until June 2nd and then they take that off the shelves to make room for the next issue. Right, right. So same thing. you got a month. Limited edition. Buy it. Yeah. Yeah. And there's yeah. beautiful pictures in here too of you. A couple of different photo shoots. That was a little earlier. The Are steampunk you? ones. Yeah. They're really gorgeous. It's the, it's the whole steampunk look you did, right? Yeah. 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 Wait, where's it. the one where you're flipping off the camera? <laughs> that one. Okay, so you're gonna show shots of this, right? I'm gonna show shots of it. Yeah, and I actually posted that on my blog. Already. That's actually oh, one of my favorite photos. My so eyes look bad. awesome in it. You yeah. look. <laughs> I love like the a makeup. doll. Yeah. Steampunk doll. And yeah. I'm kind of like, F you! Yeah. It's gorgeous. I'm not really flipping off anybody. It was just more of a, hey, let's and do these some are, shots. These like are that. more like soft and pretty traditional. Those are the traditional beauty porn shots. shots. Oh, they're, yeah. But they're really beauty shots. Yes. They don't, to me, look like traditional porn shots at all. They're well, like they're, they're like the, they're, they're what they call pretty girl photos. Yeah. Like before you get all covered in cum. <laughs> <laughs> you heard it first here. Yes. Um, but it's a really nice article. Uh, Sarah Deming did an amazing job. She actually usually interviews, uh, she, her background's like in boxing. Oh. So she interviews like, like female boxers. So she's oh, amazing. Okay. Um, and she took the assignment and she did an amazing job. She interviewed me a couple of days in New York and a couple of days here in LA. Wow. Um, came and hung out on set while I was doing a photo shoot for a plus size calendar. Um, and wrote this like amazing seven page article about me. And I'm reading and going, they sound amazing. <laughs> We're with Kelly Shabari at Liberace's penthouse in West Hollywood, California, and this is the Sex Talk. The sex Talk.